One thing I've found is that if you are a decent person and you have a lot of talent, you will do well. If you're not a decent person and you have a lot of talent, you might do well. If you're not a decent person and you have very little talent, you won't do well in Hollywood. Celebrity has changed over the last century. Back then you had to you know, invent electricity or be the world's greatest painter or something in the arts or in invention to be well known throughout the world. A concert a little over 100 years ago of both ballet and music. And in the audience you had Jean Cocteau, you had Marcel Proust, uh, Stravinsky, Picasso and, and Coco Chanel. But those people are names that were names then and they're names now and because they they left bodies of work that would live on beyond them. I think that celebrity now is a, such a temporary thing, the way, the way pop culture is. If you want to be famous, you can take all your clothes off and get on a bicycle and ride down Broadway in New York City, and you'll be on the front page of the New York Post the next day. But unless you want to like get on a horse and do it the next day, your celebrity ends at the end of that first day. But you know, Andy Warhol did make that comment, you know, 40 years ago that everybody's gonna be famous for 15 minutes. It might not even be that long in the future. You could become a TikTok star overnight by doing something interesting and then it's all of a sudden, you know, two million people around the world know about you. But unless you have a follow-up act, it fades then. Today, right now, probably under 100 people worldwide will be remembered in 50 years. I worked together with Annie Leibovitz for almost uh, 25 years, and uh, she was different than other photographers, is that she would almost wear you down over the course of a long photo shoot if it was just a single subject, to the point where you eventually, your, the facade you want, you put up for the, for the photograph, drifted away, and somehow she caught the real you when you were exhausted from the photo shoot. She was really a, a very compelling presence. I mean, if Annie said, asked you to do something, you would do it. She was probably the most professional human being I've ever worked with. Annie was addicted to making uh, great, memorable photographs in the same way that Richard Avedon before that and Cartier-Bresson before that, that, you know, there aren't that many great photographers in the world at any given time. Well, the moment you become in love with the person you are, at least the public person you are, is the beginning of the end. Very few people can master this. I mean, obviously, somebody like Greta Garbo, her public image was somebody who just wanted to be left alone and live a quiet life, and that worked for her, both publicly and privately. But it, you know, by, first of all, everybody has a certain amount of narcissism in them, and if you're going to be on a movie screen and be 40 feet tall on a movie screen to look at yourself in a different way than most of us do. It's really tough being a movie star, especially as you start getting older because your shelf life is so, so short. The movie stars have a shelf life of like milk in large part. And you know, what they want is a shelf life like wine. And nothing is more unattractive than an older person trying to dress like a younger person. Um, but if you go out to Hollywood now and you see a movie star with your young son, they have exactly the same clothes on. They have, you know, trainers, they have blue jeans, they have the same haircut. In the old days, young people wanted to, they wanted to become adults. They wanted to, you know, dress like adults and have adult lifestyles and cocktails and smoke cigarettes. Now, most adults, they, they dress like, they, they act like children. There's no difference between a 40-year-old famous person and their four-year-old son, almost. What they didn't do is they never changed the labeling, at least it never went with style or like the currents of the day. It stayed exactly the way it was, and that is how you build a classic. Don't change every time the shift, the sands shift. Stay where you are, be who you are, and that's the best chance of having a long and celebrated run in this world. Mm -hmm.